Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. John 20, verses 8 and 9. As you begin this time of quiet prayer, I invite you to find a comfortable place to sit with your back straight and your legs planted on the ground. Breathing normally, take a few moments to breathe in and breathe out. Spend this time centering yourself to listen to what God may be saying to you during this time of prayer, to listen to what rises up in your heart. Close your eyes for a few moments. As you sit with your eyes closed, use these or similar words. Here I am, Lord, here I am. When you are ready, open your eyes and pray. Do you understand that I must rise? It's a sad but beautiful dawn. You are not sleeping, so you decide to get up and go for a walk. You want to think over what has happened and what it might mean. He is dead. You know that. You saw him die. But there was something else, something you can't quite make sense of. Something that felt unfinished about it all. Something unsettling. You keep walking with your eyes down, trying to understand, trying to make sense of it all. Your mind bounces to the many times he talked about the need to die so that he could rise. What did that mean? The sun is up now, and you look up to feel the warmth of the rays against your face. Looking ahead, you notice some women running down the path. They seem to be in a joyful panic, like something frightening but wonderful has happened. As you get closer to where they came from, there is a man standing there. He is standing so tall, so confident. It's as if he has accomplished something impossible. Getting closer, you realize it's him. It's Jesus. You know you saw him die. How can he be standing there? He looks at you with eyes that are clear and sure. He speaks to you. What does Jesus say to you? How do you respond? Standing closer to Jesus, you feel a strength coming from him. You want to reach over and embrace him, to touch him, 
to be sure that it's really Jesus. He seems to know your mind and the questions swimming around in your head. Jesus reaches over and touches your hand. You feel a surge of energy rush through you. It is you, you say to Jesus. It is you. Tears stream down your face. Jesus says something to you. What does Jesus say? What do you want to say to Jesus? Today, Easter Sunday is a day when life conquers death. How does my belief in the resurrection change how I live my life? Who do I need to share the hope and joy of the resurrection with today? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end.